Hello and welcome to Rando Tech Info. And today we're talking about the Xiaomi Mi 11. This is Xiaomi's latest and greatest smartphone and it's one of the only phones in the world right now along with Samsung's new S21 line to offer phones with the 888 Snapdragon processor. It's also cheaper than Samsung's S21 line, so it makes sense that some people might be interested in bringing this phone over to the US, especially now that there is a global version of the phone available. Unfortunately, generally speaking, this phone is not going to work very well over here on US carrier networks. So on Verizon, it only uses one of their 5G bands. Now it does use four out of five of their 4G bands, but none of that really matters because this phone is not on Verizon's whitelist. So you're not gonna get reliable coverage with this phone on Verizon. It's not certified to work on their network, so you can't count on it working. So on T-Mobile, you have a similar story. It uses one of their 5G bands and it is their mid-band 5G band, band 41. So that's actually not too horrible. It uses five out of six of their 4G bands, but unfortunately, T-Mobile, as of this year, has started saying they will no longer support phones to work on their network that don't use their voice over LTE. This phone doesn't use their voice over LTE, so it may not work on their network at all, and even if it does, your reception might be quite unreliable. Your best bet with this phone will be on AT&T. So AT&T does have their own whitelist, but it only concerns 5G. Only phones can use 5G on their network that are certified to use it. So in this phone's case, it only uses one out of those bands anyway, so that's not really a big loss. Now with 4G, it does use six out of nine of their 4G bands, including the major bands. So you could actually get decent 4G coverage with this phone on AT&T. So if you don't care about 5G and you're on AT&T, then this phone might be an option for you, but that's really as far as the list goes. So am I sitting here and telling you unequivocally that this phone will not work at all, no matter where you live on T-Mobile or Verizon? No, I obviously can't promise you that. But what I can tell you is this phone is not going to be sold here in the US, which means you're gonna to have to bring it over here with a third party seller. And when you buy a phone from a third party seller, the warranty does usually not come over with it. So when you bring it over here, that's going to void the warranty, which means if you get it here and it doesn't work, you're screwed. <laughs> and unfortunately, these new rules with the carriers in the 5G world, uh, with T-Mobile's voice over LTE and the whitelist of AT&T and Verizon, those things aren't going away anytime soon. So bringing phones over here and expecting them to work is becoming a much more dicey proposition in the 5G era. Now, if you do decide to roll the dice and bring this phone over here, please come back. Let me know down in the comments how well the phone works and what part of the US you live in so other people can learn from your experience and help make a more informed buying decision for themselves. Well, that's all the information I have today about the Xiaomi Mi 11. If you found this video useful, a sub to the channel and a thumbs up would be really appreciated. As always, I do hope you found the video useful. Thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.